intelligence, Python, machine learning, natural language processing, cognitive computing, deep learning, Google TensorFlow, speech recognition, computer vision, and robotics. The program offers a wide range of electives, exposure to a wide range of technologies, tools, and software, work on live projects, program delivered by the best AI and data science faculties and IBM experts. After successful completion of the course, participants get postgraduate program or PGP certification from IBM. Different program modes, full-time, PGP and applied AI, weekend executive PGP and applied AI, and weekend online PGP and applied AI, world-class cloud learning management platform and mobile app. Our students work with top firms and startups. Explore today how Aegis can help you launch your career in AI. Presenting you Aegis School of Cybersecurity, the best school for postgraduate program in cybersecurity in association with IBM. Jenny Rometty, CEO IBM, said that cybercrime is the greatest threat to every company in the world. Per Forbes, cybersecurity job market is expected to grow to more than $170 billion in just four years. Cybersecurity spending to exceed $1 trillion. Unfilled cybersecurity jobs will reach 1.5 million by end of 2019. Cisco reports 6 million available cybersecurity jobs globally. Looking at the huge gap in skills for cybersecurity, Aegis launched Postgraduate Program, or PGP, in cybersecurity in association with IBM. PGP certification by IBM. Program taught by IBM cybersecurity experts and industry scholar gurus and top faculties. Launch your career in cybersecurity with Aegis School of Cybersecurity. Exposure to IBM cybersecurity lab and software. Add wings to your career and explore today about postgraduate program in cybersecurity in association with IBM at www.aegis.edu.in. Welcome to Aegis School of Data Science the best school for postgraduate program in data science, business analytics, and big data in association with IBM. Industry association with IBM, AWS Educate, NVIDIA DLI, UB Tech. IBM has set up business analytics lab. Final certification is issued by IBM. Aegis facilitates scholarships, financial aid, and study loans available we will work on live projects from the industry. Curriculum designed with the help of top data scientists and companies. Hands-on exposure to machine learning, stats, deep learning, NLP, Google TensorFlow, Spark, IBM Watson, AWS ML, and many more. Highly satisfied students with amazing reviews. Program delivered by IBM experts and the best data scientists program follows globally acceptable North American credit structure. Proud alumni working as data scientists with leading organizations. Participants can get opportunities for internships and final job placement with leading organizations. Aegis organizes Aegis Grand Bell Awards, Aegis Largest Data Science Congress Deep Learning Summit, Meetups, and Leadership Speaker Series. Network with the best data scientists and AI experts from around the world. Present your projects to the world world-class delivery infrastructure and cloud learning management system. Three delivery models, full-time, executive weekend classroom, and online live interactive. Add wings to your career and explore today at www.aegis.edu.in.
Presenting you Aegis School of Cybersecurity, the best school for postgraduate program in cybersecurity in association with IBM. Jenny Rometty, CEO of IBM, said that cybercrime is the greatest threat to every company in the world. Per Forbes, cybersecurity job market is expected to grow to more than $170 billion in just four years. Cybersecurity spending to exceed $1 trillion. Unfilled cybersecurity jobs will reach 1.5 million by end of 2019. Cisco reports 6 million available cybersecurity jobs globally. Looking at the huge gap in skills for cybersecurity, Aegis launched Postgraduate Program, or PGP, in cybersecurity in association with IBM. PGP certification by IBM. Program taught by IBM cybersecurity experts and industry scholar gurus and top faculties. Launch your career in cybersecurity with Aegis School of Cybersecurity. Exposure to IBM Cybersecurity Lab and software. Add wings to your career and explore today about postgraduate program in cybersecurity in association with IBM at www.aegis.edu.in. Welcome to Aegis School of Data Science, the best school for postgraduate program in data science, business analytics, and big data in association with IBM. Industry Association with IBM, AWS Educate, NVIDIA DLI, UB Tech. IBM has set up Business Analytics Lab. Final certification is issued by IBM. Aegis facilitates scholarships, financial aid, and study loans available. We will work on live projects from the industry. Curriculum designed with the help of top data scientists and companies. Hands-on exposure to machine learning, stats, deep learning, NLP, Google TensorFlow, Spark, IBM Watson, AWS ML, and many more. Highly satisfied students with amazing reviews. Program delivered by IBM experts and the best data scientists. Program follows globally acceptable North American credit structure. Proud alumni working as data scientists with leading organizations. Participants can get opportunities for internships and final job placement with leading organizations. Aegis organizes Aegis Grand Bell Awards, Aegis' largest data science Congress deep learning summit, meetups, and leadership speaker series. Network with the best data scientists and AI experts from around the world. Present your projects to the world. World-class delivery infrastructure and cloud learning management system. Three delivery models, full-time, executive weekend classroom, and online live interactive. Add wings to your career and explore today at www.aegis.edu.in. Ride the artificial intelligent wave with postgraduate program in applied AI, machine learning, and deep learning by Aegis School of Data Science in association with IBM. This intensive, hands-on program develops the necessary and unique set of skills for launching your successful career in the fastest-growing fields of AI. The program curriculum covers in-depth artificial intelligence, Python, machine learning, natural language processing, cognitive computing, deep learning, Google TensorFlow, speech recognition, computer vision, and robotics. The program offers a wide range of electives, exposure to a wide range of technologies, tools, and software, work on live projects, program delivered by the best AI and data science faculties and IBM experts. After successful completion of the course, participants get postgraduate program or PGP certification from IBM. Different program modes, full-time PGP and applied AI, weekend executive PGP and applied AI, and weekend online PGP and applied AI, world-class cloud learning management platform and mobile app. 
Our students work with top firms and startups. Explore today how Aegis can help you launch your career in AI. Good evening, all of you, the individuals who are, we are on live. Okay, brilliant. A very good evening to all of you, the participants who are attending that uh, meetup, which is on uh, data science, analytics, artificial intelligence. So a very warm welcome to all of you for attending that meetup. And I can see that a lot of candidates, they have asked already some questions. So uh, I'm Ratan. So without making any further ado, let me take, could you please go to the next slide? Set up the agenda for today's meetup, today's talk. So we'll start with directly because let's hear from the experts. So in this row, we have uh, with us Samir. Uh, so Samir is going to start his journey uh, with Johnson & Johnson, one of the proud alumni of Aegis. So he will be uh, taking his own experiences, he'll be talking about his own experiences, how he had ended up uh, landing up into that profile as a data scientist. And if you would have any questions, you can raise your questions. The individuals who are watching us live, they can type their experiences, their work ex, if they wish to. Though we have got a slight idea about the uh, registration, what you have done, then most of you are uh, working, some of you are fresher, who wants to make a transition into that data science. So what is there in data science? What is that big data? So it is uh, all the jargons we are hearing about. So let's start with the best minds available with us. So the proud alumni of ages. So without making any further ado, I would invite uh, Samir on stage and uh, to, to, to walk you through with his journey, how he landed up into uh, data science and how he is, because he's going to start his journey with Johnson & Johnson. Samir, over to you. Please. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Samir Rofri, as uh, already told by you. So uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, uh, in this evening, we will talk about uh, what is data science uh, as uh, already uh, some of you have already an idea about what is data science, what is artificial intelligence, analytics and everything. So uh, there is a lo lot of buzzword around the data science and analytics in the industry. So uh, I will just uh, brief you about the uh, what is data science and uh, artificial intelligence and uh, the course I did um, uh, with the ages. So uh, in data science, basically it's a, uh, it's you are getting insights from the data. It's a, a combination of mathematics, statistics, machine learning, and other big data analytics tools. So you will, uh, you will get, you will, you will take a, a data and uh, generate some insights from them. So it will be helpful for the business to, you know, uh, do uh, any processor upgrade or uh, to do any any kind of uh, upgradation in their systems. So, and uh, the the main idea behind uh, uh, data science and analysis is uh, to to perform. Uh, hello. So, uh, to perform a various uh, analysis uh, uh, over the data of, of the business. So. Uh, as I already uh, told by the folks, uh, folks here that the most of you are from the uh, freshers and some of you are experienced. So uh, I just wanted to tell you that there is no uh, uh, experience or a fresher kind of a, uh, thing that you if uh, you should have a, some some kind of experience or you should shouldn't have any some kind of experience over there. So uh, I can see from the chat. So, uh, 
Okay, so free structure and uh, local facility available. So these will be the question uh, answered by uh, after after my session. So so there there is one question. Uh, Mohit Atar. Mohsin Atar, do you have a job security after completion of a program with the best performance? So uh, uh, there is not so n there is not a such kind of a, a job security kind of a thing. So it uh, totally depend upon your uh, performance and how do you how do you catch up all the technologies and how do you learn everything in the course. So it's depend only on you. The uh, the course and the uh, institute will. The course and institute institute will uh, provide you a lot of uh, opportunities to uh, to catch. So it it is all uh, it is all depend on you how how you are going to uh, catch that opportunity. Okay, so uh, I was talking about the uh, my journey. So I did my uh, graduation in information technology from Siagan Institutes. So from there I landed into the job. Uh, at uh, LNT Infotech, so I was their uh, SAP security consultant. So uh, I did my, uh, uh, I did uh, various project over there uh, on the SAP security part. So, uh, but the uh, there is one question. I am fresher and I am very much interested in AI and data science. How to join this job? Yeah, so uh, I will be talking about that also. So, uh, so okay. So, uh, okay. So I landed into the my uh, landed into the LND for tech job. So uh, there, uh, I was working on a SAP security uh, part. Uh, I. Uh, I was doing some HR module implementation in various projects. Uh, I also did some uh, uh, supply chain management uh, 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 projects over there. So uh, while while doing a job, I was uh, very in, uh, there. There always an inquisitiveness in me that how this uh, data is going to use in the industries to uh, you know uh, to to make a decisions to uh, to make a process upgrade about everything. So uh, I was very uh, curious about that, and there are also a lo lot of buzzword around for a data science and analytics over there. So uh, I searched about the uh, this term in, uh, and I get to know about various institutes and various courses about that. But uh, while while searching over the internet, uh, I came across that there are two kind of courses like uh, weekend and uh, like campus and full time courses. So. I wanted to join full time courses because uh, I wanted to learn data science uh, thoroughly. So uh, there should be a not uh, like I am doing a 10 to 5 job and uh, weekend on weekends I will do some uh, like uh, courses. So I don't wanted to join that course. So I, 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 I opted for a full time course. So over here uh, I learned uh, various courses like uh, for example statistics python machine learning uh, deep learning so these are like a uh, core part of a data science on these are the pillars of data science so in statistics uh, machine learning and python these three are uh, main important courses in the uh, data science so uh, i was also able to perform various projects over here like uh, predictive analysis projects like uh, I also working on the capstone project which is like a block summarization using NLP and everything. So there is a lot of opportunities and various projects I, uh, I did over here. So uh, coming to a, a placement thing, the, the placement teams, uh, placement team in AGS is very good and uh, they provide a lot of opportunities for uh, students to grab. So uh, uh, the Johnson Johnson, uh, the company uh, took uh, various interviews and uh, uh, group discussion. Uh, firstly, so in group discussion, uh, there was a, a case study about which uh, we have to do analysis. They they have given our data about 
uh, the companies and uh, uh, market share. So uh, I did. Uh, we have to do uh, some case. Uh, we have to do uh, some analysis of that data and uh, uh, to pre and present the uh, to present it to company. So uh, after that, uh, we have some uh, like one-on-one -on -one interviews, like technical interviews, and then HR round. So in te technical interview, they uh, all of the companies are we are asking only basic things in the data science and machine learning and statistics. So uh, it is not like that the company wants to hire uh, some uh, like folks uh, who have like too much detail information about the uh, every course. They want that the candidate should be a uh, perfect in uh, basics. So they were focus on uh, they were focusing on the basics of a uh, uh, machine learning statistics and everything. So uh, over there. They uh, also asked me the uh, previous year uh, experience, so uh, the past organization experience, what was that and everything. So yeah, that was a good experience uh, and I landed into the internship of uh, Johnson & Johnson's as a, a supply chain analyst. So uh, yeah, that was my journey. Uh, uh, I can answer some of questions. Uh, Navin Kupal asked some can fresher with no experience in coding join PGP in data science. Yeah, so uh, it is not compulsory that you should have a coding experience uh, 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 before, but uh, the coding part in data science is basically about the, uh, how do you use your, uh, it, it just uh, how do you use the libraries and uh, uh, call a functions in a in a code. Uh, the basic data structure uh, we want here like you should know a ba basic data structure and uh, basic functions like for loop, while loops that can be easily uh, that that can easily be e easily learn. So yeah, you can join uh, with no experience also in coding. Yeah, Sauradeep Bhandari. I am a fresher and I am very much interested on AI and data science. How to join this? How to join this job? So okay. Uh, so uh, first, uh, you have to learn what is data science, AI, and everything. So once you learn and uh, once you practice over the uh, uh, pro various projects, you can. Uh, easily there are a lot of opportunity in the, uh, opportunities in the market to to grab upon so yeah definitely you can uh, join the ai or data science job but the first we have to be uh, very clear about our basics in data science and you have to learn um, uh, uh, you have to learn uh, coding and everything about that yeah any more questions we have Yeah, uh, takeaway uh, is the takeaway from today's session is like uh, first you have to be a very uh, curious about everything uh, in the market like uh, about you have to be very uh, curious in the uh, you have to be very curious about the data like uh, how you are getting uh, how do you are getting insights from the data and uh, first from from uh, uh, from the data capturing or data gathering point then how do you analyze and how do you make sense out of it so these are main part uh, which comes under the data science and analytics so yes you have to be very uh, like curious about that
What is the basic of AI? What they should know about it? What is what is the ba basic of AI? Okay. Start from Okay, if, if not, if I'm not selected in ages placement after completion program, then can I got a job in market on the basis of 11 months program? So, yeah, it's, it's, it's all about uh, the skills that you have and you have, uh, you have learned in the 11 months program. Yeah, definitely you will, you will be able to get a job in the market. Uh, but but uh, I would suggest you should get a, uh, a good and you should grab a opportunity in the placement uh, placement and ma uh, campus uh, always because the competition and everything is less over here and uh, the you will get a good exposure uh, in the uh, campus itself. So uh, it is not like you will not get selected in uh, market, but yeah, the main priority should be to get selected in campus only. Okay, so what is the basics of AI? So this uh, this is the question asked by Saradeep Bhandari. So uh, it is a uh, it 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 is a machine learning uh, in which uh, you have to be uh, like artificially uh, the the machine will artificially or you have to uh, put some intelligence into the machine by using a machine learning and statistics. So. Uh, uh, for example, you, uh, we always know that what is AI and how, how it is being used in uh, every aspect of our industry. So, uh, so uh, basically the advanced part of our machine learning is the AI. Okay, so there are certain questions about the average packages offered by Aegis, so that would be asked by Webhub. So Webhub will be conducting one quick info session once we are done, uh, because this is the session we have started off uh, with their journey, so that you have an idea that how they have started off their career as a data scientist, the new journey they are going to, uh, which is going to begin. So uh, they are sharing their experiences. In the same go, we have with us uh, Palbha. So Palbha, she is uh, going to start her journey with Navy Analytics as a data scientist. So may I please invite uh, Palbha on stage. Thank you, Samir, thank you so much yeah. for this wonderful insight. So, uh, so Palbha is there. So Palbha, could you please uh, come on stage and just walk uh, the, all the participants who are curious to know, and majority of them, I'll give a brief about their profile because the kind of analytics we have done. So they are the freshers who want to make their career in data science. There are individuals who are from non-IT background. They have some questions and that question in their mind, okay, whether they are not from, uh, you know, they are from non-IT background, whether they will be, it will be easier for them to get into that data science or not. There are individuals who are working, like you also have worked earlier before joining this program. So uh, how they can start their journey into analytics by opting up any programs and how such programs will help them. And they just want to know the journey what you had with ages. So may I please invite on stage, Palbha, the dice is yours. Thank you. Hi everyone, it's me Palbha Naswali. I have, uh, I've been an electronics and telecommunication engineer. I've done it from Ezra Citus Indore. And uh, I was working at Infosys for around 2.1 years. And then like everyone is interested in like, I was working on SQL databases and I was working on some reports and everything. And then sooner or later I realized that this is not the thing I want to pursue for the next coming uh, work life of mine. So I decided to join AGES as, and go and excel and learn more about data science as a whole. Like what exactly it is because the word we see and we hear is like, yeah, everyone is doing it. But what is it exactly? So as you all are uh, doing your study, like which particular college you should look out for, 
and so did I and then I realized that Aegis is offering a better platform in terms of the subjects, the curriculum is very good. Along with it, the teachers we have here are also well experienced and they know, they know how to you know, train us in terms of the, uh, the theoretical part but as well the practical part and keeping in mind the end output that is our job and definitely they try and teach us as a whole like what exactly should we learn and how should we implement it. So we get ample of opportunities also there are industry sessions conducted so that you know we interact with people of the industry and understand what are the projects actually going on and accordingly decide like yeah what I am learning how can I actually implement it in uh, job of course. Other than that, I have learned many languages here like uh, clicks in Stablu, Python, R, like we were given projects and we were asked to, you know, even for projects we were like, we are not giving the data directly, ki, Haan, this is the data and work on it and apply some machine learning or anything. It was like more or less starting from scratch, like even we have to decide what data we have to go for and then decide our own projects so we have that opportunity to do whatever we feel like like we are given ample of amount of time as well and the teachers are supportive like anything you want to try new they are definitely here to guide you and it has been amazing and I have been offered like three four uh, uh, jobs from different companies and then eventually I decided to go for Navy uh, they, these guys are also working on IoT and analytics as well as machine learning all together so I'd be happy to go across that. Anything in particular anybody would like to know apart from what I have told right now? Yes, all the online participants who are attending that session. So you can raise your questions because you are getting a chance to interact with somebody who are just going to start their journey. So any questions, whether good or bad, you can please raise your questions so that we can try to, you know, Palva would like to answer these questions. Anybody would have any questions? Please do type. Um, first of all, to people who think that only IT people can look around and go for uh, ages, it's not like that. Like in our batch itself, like uh, we have a variety of students, I can say, like people who are fresher, people who are experienced like me, two years, or people who are, you know, more experienced, like five to seven years, even people who have done MBA are here in our batch. Also people who are like 10, 12 years experience, 20 years experience, and it's a like kind of a mixed batch. So we get to know, like there are times we get to know, uh, learn from people who are more experienced, even from freshers, like uh, there have been, there are people who are uh, doing great, like even the opportunities like teachers here are teaching it properly so that even a non-coding background person can understand it. Even the classmates and everyone else is also there to help you out. The assignments we have, they are from the basic level. So you know you get a gist of everything from scratch. It's not like you should know it then only you will be able to do. Yes, definitely if someone has a basic idea, so there will be an edge. But that does not matter because eventually in the curriculum it has been planned accordingly that a person who is not from coding background can definitely go around and learn it in a proper way. And definitely there are teachers, like you have any silliest doubt, they are there to help. Even online practice and everything is there. You just have to you know be ready to push in your hard work and do it and definitely you can. Uh, it's a PG certification course and definitely since ages has been there in the, this particular data science platform from a long time so definitely companies have importance when it comes to the uh, any particular certification from ages because they know the students at right now as alumni are performing great and definitely so it has a huge advantage. Yes. But Navy is the one you are opting. So they need to also know that what kind of grilling you have uh, 
being done in the interview, what are the questions companies they do ask? Yes. So please do explain that experience. Well. Um, before our campus placement starts, we are uh, like AGES organizes mock interviews so that students you know genuinely know like what kind of pressure they'll go through like even our resume was being you know we were interviewed on our resume small small silly silly mistakes are pointed out you know we are being prepared ready so that our interviews are uh, proper like the basic exams mcqs which a company might take some kind of you know hackathons if a company does so definitely we are you know prepared we are trained and we are you know every kind of input is given from ages it's up to us like how you know we can make the most out of it so definitely the tr the whole thing before placements as well we were given 10 15 days and we were you know properly given the time and every input from the teachers work was given and definitely that, that somehow helps because you are well prepared you have the particular you know when you give interviews to your own teachers and they are asking so difficult questions so definitely you start realizing Ki, oh i don't know this so i should you know go through it and definitely those questions those mock interviews have helped me and i was able to you know answer like at times in interviews i used to feel Ki, oh this was a question asked by my teacher so definitely it somehow helped because I went through it even if I have any questions so at the point of interviews like while uh, mock interviews were going on we used to connect with our classmates and you know they used to hel uh, help us out that these are the questions we have been asked and accordingly we used to discuss and learn more. So, so these, uh, these questions what you are asking about the cyber security the loans part I will be taking because I will be taking one quick info session. So most of these questions lead to the program that I'll be taking care of. So if you have any questions, guys, who are listening, watching this session live, so you can please feel free to ask any question, any doubt if you have regarding the data science, the journey, at, because the session is all about the journey to become a data scientist, right? So what sort of challenges they have faced? If you have that kind of questions, feel free to ask. And remaining all these uh, stuff about the the loans, the other programs, like cybersecurity, you're asking, I'll be taking that session next. So I believe uh, we have answered your question. Thank you, thank you, Palbha. Thank, thank you so much for walking us through the video. Thank you. All the best for our future enterprises. Could you please take the slides? Okay, uh, good evening. Can I have the slide changer? Yeah. All right. It's not working or what? Please change the slide. Okay, so now I can see most of you guys, you have asked the questions related to, let me answer these questions, if these related to the programs we are looking at. Like somebody had asked, can fresher with no experience in coding join PGP in data science? Like you have heard these uh, rock stars who have made it, like them, there are so many others uh, who have started their career, they will be starting their career in coming August month as a data scientist. So can a non-coding background guy would be able to uh, join this program? Very much, yes. If you are from non-coding background, but you have that much of logical reasoning capabilities, analytical reasoning capabilities, any individual who is coming from uh, commerce background, economics background, even management background candidates, individuals who have uh, done their BTEC from uh, mechanical, uh, mechan instrumentation engineering, uh, civil engineers, they have done brilliantly well by doing this program and they are flying high with a jetpack on their back. Freshers can join, Webber, I have answered your question if you are listening to me. Uh, Naveen is again asking no coding experience, not at all. As I have mentioned, the participants are because almost in the full time program, if I talk about something is happening in the video, I believe. Could you please fix it? Okay. It's done. Some technical glitch had come, I believe. Okay. We are trying to rectify. Uh, my voice is it, it's working 
Okay, fine. So now uh, let me answer some questions till the, till till then uh, while they're fixing up the video. The freshers can join. Yes, freshers can very much join. Even the full time program what we offer, it's gone. Okay. So the freshers, is it audible? Can you hear me? Can you check? Okay, fine. Okay. So somebody would have asked, like, uh, can a fresher can join? Yes. So even the full time program, it's a mixed batch. What we do offer. So typically, how it works? I mean, 35 to 40 percent intake in our every batch. We have the participants who have zero to two years of experience, and remaining who have got sorry, 40 percent intake from those who will be having say uh, two to 15 years of experience. Remaining a uh, huge bracket uh, that would be around 60 to 65 percent intake from those individuals who will be having say uh, zero to two years of experience means a fresher till who have got two years of experience. So a fresher can very much join. Any individual who is having say uh, coming from different backgrounds as I mentioned earlier like participants who have done their uh, graduation from commerce background, economics background, post graduation from a similar background, uh, BTEC in any, any specialization participants they are very very much eligible to apply for this program. Hence they have to go through the say one process they have to apply uh, for the program then interview would be scheduled I will be walking you through in the sli coming slides. Fee structure whether I mentioning the fee structure also. Loan facility very much we do have uh, do hold your breath I will be coming to that slide. Do we have job security after completion of the program with best performance very much. I believe motion that answer had already been given by two gentlemen and, and one lady who had come and who are the proud alumni and the rock star of ages very much if you perform well ages is there to help you in all the ways we have a dedicated career management center who provide the placements i'll be walking you through i'll be talking about that uh, point as also uh, what's the basic of ai i believe uh, saradeep we have already given you a brief about it like ai is uh, nothing it's all about the 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 automations what we are bringing into the picture that started with all the started from the statistics and probability R Python machine learning and deep learning if you talk about machine learning which is a subset of AI and deep learning is a subset of uh, machine learning depending upon what sort of data you are dealing with so this is how it would, uh, so AI it's all about mathematics it's all about statistics at the back pure. Uh, average packages offered by ages okay uh, I'll be walking you through with that slide also I'll tell you average package for the fresher typically it goes up to 8.7 to 9.1 it varies in that way for the freshers and uh, this year we have just started off with the placements last month till date uh, average package had been offered would be around 14.5 lakhs uh, I want to join PG in cyber security KL Raju is asking I'll be coming to the cyber security point uh, slide as well do you still provide loans for financial help very much we do have the uh, tie with various financial institution who disburse the education loan to the participants okay uh, somebody had asked okay and guaranteed job and internship see we are not a placement consultancy uh, like we you have uh, you might have heard about the uh, rock stars to whom we have uh, had uh, heard from them so uh, the program is very intensive. It's a one of the most powerful program. If you go through and it, the video has gone again, could you please do something? So uh, it's a one of the most powerful program. The power lies within the curriculum, the uh, the experts who deliver the session, the projects what the participants they go through in this program, and also the placements. So these are the the the, the pointers which affect the placements heavily. So yes, placements are very 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 much and brilliant placements what we have uh, given. Uh, and we started this program six years back when the world is not aware about data science forget about India and since then we are following the same legacy and for information in the entire market we have the largest number of alumni who have been serving the industries globally uh, on different organizations different sectors as data scientists I believe I answered your question Semi what if we did the course from institute in your placement we did not get job or any kind of internship then will you give job guarantee I believe Simi I answered your question is it an online and offline course I will be coming to the course uh, curriculum and the structure also next slide uh, K Raju I want to join cyber security and this weekend is coming Bangalore I want to meet you it is possible sir uh, K Raju you can uh, I will be leaving you with my coordinates and you can go to the uh, links I will be uh, leaving with you 
so you can schedule an appointment in our Bangalore campus because we have a campus in Mumbai, Pune, and Bangalore where you can go and uh, attend the session. Uh, Maybe you can talk to our advisors there and they will guide you better. Or I'll be walking you through with the entire program. Please hold your breath again, I'm telling you. Uh, Vaibhav is asking, I'm a fresher, I have no experience, can I get a job or not? Okay, Vaibhav, again, same questions. You are uh, bidding on the same bush, I believe. To hold your breath. I'll be walking you through with the entire structure. Okay. Uh, slide changer. Okay. Could you please change the slide? A quick brief about us, who we are, what we do. So we started our journey in the year 2002 with the support of Bharti Airtel, as you can see. Uh, that was the same time when the disruption was happening in the technology, the telecom. Uh, new technologies were coming up, the older technologies becoming obsolete. Uh, so we started, we, uh, at that time, Sunil Bharti Mittal supported IIT Delhi and it is Mumbai in order to develop the cross-functional leaders in telecom segment. And we started off with the Asia from the largest program, which is post-graduate program in uh, master's program in telecom management. Since then, the Zeni Star journey got started. Six years back, we joined hands with IBM and we rolled out uh, the program that uh, walked you through. Uh, so these are, and there are different programs we offer, like uh, this is the program we have rolled out six years back. Uh, we have set up with IBM uh, various ages, IBM data science, business analytics, cloud computing and cyber security lab in order to enhance the uh, skills of the individuals who are watching us live who wish to join uh, these programs. Maybe, uh, so these labs also help the participants. It is a proud trading partner as you can see with TACC Telecom Sector Skill Council under which we provide the skill manpower in telecom sector. MTNL from where we are delivering the session in Mumbai is our infrastructure partner in Mumbai. Though we offer this program in three uh, cities, Mumbai, Pune and Bangalore. Uh, at ages we started, uh, initiated the HS, one of the largest event that we host which is HS Gamble Award in which we do reward the innovations coming up in Time and smack, as you can see on the screen, this is one of the leading, uh, one of the most prominent award, uh, one of the pioneer awards in those uh, innovation. Uh, though we offer this program with IBM, the program I have talked about, but we have awarded IBM for the innovation last year under that uh, Aegis Gamble Award segment. Next slide. Currently we are offering, uh, okay, these are the academic associations and the industry uh, uh, collaboration and the associations we have got. Like as you can see, the IBM I have talked about, let's start with IBM. So we have joined hands with IBM six years back and, joined, and rolled out the program I have talked about. Uh, and we have established ages in IBM, data science, business analytics, cloud computing and cyber security lab in order to enhance the skills and the competences of the individual who wish to make their career in those data science and those disruptive technologies. Uh, then also as you can see NVIDIA, most of you might have heard about that. NVIDIA, they are uh, pioneers into graphic cards and GPUs, graphical process units. But over the past few years, NVIDIA, they have become the world largest leader in AI and machine learning. And th this is the organization which is powering heavily Google and Facebook, right? Entire backend engine on deep learning, they have designed that. So NVIDIA, they have also joined hands with us for delivering two courses, which is into AI and deep learning, which is a part of the core course we offer. Another association we have got, which is with AWS, most of you are aware about Amazon Web Services. Uh, so they partnered with us, with AWS participants, they will get additional access on the entire course content on AI, machine learning and deep learning. Also participants who join this program, what we have talked about, uh, participants they will get additional access on the AWS Cloud Labs, which participants they use it for doing their in-class projects and consulting assignments. UBTech, as you can see, it's a dream with robots. The tagline says, it's a China-based organization they are one of the pioneers in robotics and computer vision. They have also joined hands with us under which with UBTech we are creating and developing same modules you might have heard about Google Alexa. Similar modules we are creating with UBTech which is a voice recognition, pattern recognition based uh, modules what we are creating and this is all is happening in this program and these are the associations we have got. Next slide. These are the programs. Next slide. These are the programs currently we are offering, which is uh, uh, the first program, as I have talked about, we launched this program a long back, six years back the time we have collaborated with IBM, which is a postgraduate program in data science, business analytics and big data. Uh, another program we are offering, which is a postgraduate program in applied AI, machine learning and deep learning, more intensive program designed for those individuals who are already working in that AI or machine learning, who are brilliant in coding and wants to get into robotics and computer vision kind of uh, vertical. This is for them. 
Somebody would have asked about the cyber security program, which is very much there, which is a post-credit program in cyber security we offer in association with IBM. This program is also equivalent to masters in cyber security, which we offer in association with IBM. Next slide. Uh, these are the newly launched programs we have recently launched with IBM. First one, which is a blockchain, you might have heard about blockchain. This is booming up in a big, big way. So these are the programs we have launched with IBM, which is a postgraduate program in blockchain. Again, uh, offered by IBM and Aegis collaboratively, we offer this program. Another program for those individuals who are from non-IT background and wish to uh, get into software or IT uh, vertical. So this is the full stack development program we have recently launched with IBM, which is a complete full stack development program, which is a PGP program. Next slide. Okay, let's take a deeper dive into the program, which is a postgraduate program in uh, data science, business analytics and big data, as you can see on the screen. Uh, th in this program, uh, it's a holistic, complete holistic data science program. Why holistic? Because in this program, we are offering all these three uh, areas which is data science, business analytics and big data altogether. And this program is also equivalent to masters in data science which is globally accepted. Next slide. These are the labs that I have talked about which we have collaborated with IBM. Next slide which participants use it for doing their in class projects and consulting assignments. These are the modes of delivery. So uh, somebody would have asked about the online or offline. So there are three modes of delivery in this program. One which is a full time program in full time and another one would be the executive one. So in the full time program is a complete on campus program, six days a week will be the session. Duration for all three modes of delivery would be 11 month. Program structure as you can see the red strip, it's all 45 credit unit minimum we, uh, it's a 45 credit unit program. We follow the Northern American structure, credit structure based system. Entire program is a 45 credit unit. Uh, once the training session get done after 11 months, there will be excellent internship and placements would be offered. So in the full time program, it's a six days a week, as I have mentioned also, uh, for doing this program participants, either they, if somebody is working, they have to look for, for the sabbatical uh, from their organization or they have to leave their job uh, to do this program. And fresher are only eligible to do this full time program. Remaining two modes of delivery, what we do have, which is the executive mode of delivery. Under this executive mode of delivery, we have two modes of delivery. One, which is a uh, on campus, as you can see here, on-campus weekend program in which the classes will be held on Saturday and Sunday. On-campus means where we have the presence like Mumbai, Pune and Bangalore. Uh, we do offer the executive weekend program which will be on-campus classes will be held 10 to 5, 10 to 6 basis full day and uh, duration same 11 months classes will be held Saturday, Sunday. Uh, another mode of delivery watch we offer which is a online live interactive. Only one difference. So this online live interactive mode of delivery we offer this program at present 18 countries around the globe. So uh, the mode of delivery would, would be completely online live interactive. Participants they can see like you can watch me delivering the session but as of now you'd have some limitations. But this online platform what we use the live interactive one in which you can raise your question to the experts delivering the session to you. You can also uh, the participants who will be delivering the session, you can see the other participants attending the session, it's a complete online live interactive basis we offer this program. But here's the catch, executive mode of delivery can only be done and uh, one can apply, uh, only those individuals can apply for these on executive mode of delivery who should have, one should have minimum at least two years of experience which is required. Or maybe some individuals who have one year of experience in this similar kind of domain if somebody is working like AI, machine learning or uh, somebody who is, who, who, is, who is playing along with R, Python, these kind of technologies. So this is a delivery mode of, uh, what sort of mode of delivery. So full time program, we are starting on 21st August for which the applications are open. Interviews we are conducting on 26th and 4th August. Applications are open till 31st of this month. If you wish to make your career, to start your career with this program and want to make yourself a data scientist, want to be called as a data scientist, the real time, not self-proclaimed data scientist, tons of them you will find over net. So uh, do apply. The process, I'll be uh, leaving you with the process. It's very simple. You have to fill the online application based out of which one interview would be scheduled. In case you get through and shortlisted, we extend the admission offer. Applications are open. Next slide. Okay, this is the certification. The participants, they will get that would be jointly offered and delivered by IBM and Ages, which is globally accepted. Next slide. This is the certification I was talking by NVIDIA. Uh, 
that will be jointly offered and delivered by NVIDIA and Aegis. If the participants they clear then modules on AI and deep learning, since NVIDIA they have also joined hands with us, participants they will be offered the certification which is again globally accepted. Next slide. Okay, coming to the course curriculum. So the course curriculum as you can see, you can take the snapshot of this screen on your, uh, that you can see on the screen and you will get to know more information about the curriculum part. Still, I'll be giving you some inputs. So the curriculum we have got, it has got the core courses and the elective as you can see written here. Right? So the, the, we have taken the inputs from the leading data scientists as you can see the associations we have got with the powerful leaders in the market in those disruptive areas. We have taken the inputs from them. Also we have designed the curriculum as per the skills and the competencies which is required by the real data scientist working with the organization. All, it all starts like if I talk about the core courses, we start the program from the very base and the vital backbone of data science and which is statistics and probability and goes up to advanced statistics, then R language, Python, machine learning. In machine learning, there are different types of machine learning. We do train the participants upon like machine learning using R, machine learning using Python, machine learning using TensorFlow, machine learning using Spark MLev, machine learning using Scala, machine learning using uh, Amazon uh, AW over AWS. So these are the tools which is being used to uh, execute your machine learning algorithms. This is what we do train the participants upon. AI and deep learning as I have already explained. NVIDIA is there who is uh, going to do the hand holding for the participants which is a core part of the program. Uh, Spark is very much there as a core part of the program. Natural language processing is there as a core part of the program. W, ClickSense, ClickView, these are all visualization tools widely being used by the industries which is a part of the program. So also, since we offer this program with IBM, so uh, and IBM if you are aware that IBM they are the leaders in that big data almost a decade back when they have sold out their entire business to Lenovo, that time they have he spent heavily upon that big data and they are the leaders in that big data. They have started the revolution in that big data, right? So since we offer this program with IBM, there are certain IBM specific proprietary technologies which is widely being used by the industries globally in which IBM experts they come and they will do the hand holding for the participants who join this program. Few of them I'll name like Cognos BI, Infosphere Big Insight, IBM SPSS, Cognitive Computing by IBM and IBM Watson Analytics. So these are the tools and the platforms delivered by the IBM experts who come and deliver the and do the hand holding for the participants. Now as I have mentioned here that the, the curriculum has got the electives as well. There are a bunch of electives available out of which the participants they can choose four or five. What sort of electives like SAS, uh, graph database, Microsoft over Azure. If anybody wants to get a deeper dive into deep learning, one can choose neural network as a part of the course and participants they can make their own curriculum. But since we know the world better, we have got the expertise, the project mentors, they will do the hand holding for the participants that which tool or which uh, course would be more beneficial for you considering the market. So this is all about the curriculum part. If you want to get a deeper dive, what is being delivered, what is there in the curriculum, do take a snapshot of this slide and go through it, you will get to know more information. Next slide. Okay, let's jump into that postgraduate program in cyber security. Some of you might have asked about that program also. I'll be quickly uh, take you a, uh, in nutshell, I'll be giving you an idea. So the program we offer again, as I have mentioned earlier, this is the another program we offer with IBM, which is a complete holistic applied cyber security program we offer with IBM and this program is also equivalent to masters in cyber security which is globally accepted. So if you talk about cyber security somebody would have asked I cannot recollect the name okay so cyber security is nothing it is a subset of information security I believe if any individual they are coming from the similar background they might be aware about. So if you take an aerial look of the cyber security like all you might have heard about data scientists though we have started the session with their journey itself the data scientists. Similarly, the most uh, reputed profile, the most uh, uh, prominent profile in cyber security is the CISO. Most of you might have heard about that CISO. So CISO means Chief Information Security Officer. So this is one of the most dream job for the individuals who are working in that cyber security domain. So if you talk about cyber security, if you take an aerial look, so you will get to know that in the cyber security there are so many layers of security that the participant they should be well versed with. What are these layers? Starting from your infrastructure security, then comes your uh, network security, then comes your data security, your application security 
and where you're installing these applications, where you're deploying these applications to the cloud, the cloud security aspect has to be handy for the participants who are looking forward to make their career in that vertical, which is cyber security. So this is, we are very much covering up, then comes the whole as a cyber security, right? So you have to have the jack of all trades. There are so many bodies in the market like CCNA, uh, Cisco, who provide various certification. But believe me, certification is just a piece of paper. At the end, it's all about your skills. That, like you might have heard about these gentlemen who have, and the lady who have given the brief about the crowd alumni, about their journey. So you might be aware, I mean, you have got the insight or the flavor that market the industry is looking for the skills part. Nobody is interested in the certificate. Certification is important because you get a call for the interview. But what you will explain in the interview, where is the sellability, right? You have to sell your skills. So you have to be very, very, very good at the skills level. So we have combined all these security aspects into the program, into the furnace, grind it, and the, the, pro, the product which comes, here is the product, which is a postgraduate program in cyber security. Next slide. This is the certificate, this is the labs that I have talked about that will be jointly off the, the jointly in collaboration with IBM. We have established these labs, which participants they use it for doing their in-class projects, consulting assignments is a complete cloud lab what we have. Next slide. But these are the modes of delivery. Similarly, like I have explained in the uh, data science program, same modes of delivery, full-time, executive, and uh, part-time is there. Uh, the start date for the cybersecurity, Bangalore, we are starting the program from 6th of August, applications are open, closing down soon. Uh, Mumbai, we are starting the batch from 30th September. And the executive mode of delivery, the batch is commencing from 14th of September, for which the applications are open. Do apply if you wish to join this program. Though it sounds amazing, it is, but it's tough to get into the program because the process is a bit tough. Not tough, not bit, it's tough process. The interview is a very serious affair. Modes of delivery, there are full-time program, executive and executive, there are two modes of delivery for the on-campus and the online live interactive full-time program will be on-campus. Similarly, like I have explained in the data science program. Next slide. Okay, this is the certification participants they will get that is jointly offered and delivered by IBM and Ages, which is again globally accepted. Next slide. What is there in the curriculum? So when we talk about cybersecurity, one thing come into our mind that triggered that is uh, ethical hacking. Most of you might be aware about that. But the ethical hacking has to play a very small role in it, though it is very much important. Even my uh, nephew, he is hardly nine year old. He is a one, one, one hacker. He hacked my own console, the gaming console, and you know, uh, hacked my entire games. So even in that level, he can do. It. He's doing it brilliantly. So, but yes, there is a process. So ethical hacking, we are very much covering up. It has a very small part in it. But if you talk about cybersecurity on a broader spectrum, so it all starts with the vulnerability analysis, the pen testing, which is called penetration testing, your digital forensics, uh, Python uh, for cybersecurity, because you have to create this smart software. Also, machine learning for cybersecurity, because if you are aware about ransomware attack, nobody would be able to track the IPs which are changing their tracks. So the, it, it has got the AI compatibility. And for a human, it is next to impossible to trace that these IPs. And because of that, machine learning is very much required because you have to create the prevention based mechanism which can prevent the threats. Uh, then this is very much there as a core part of the program, then security and privacy, IBM Watson, QRadar, maybe you might have heard about which is IBM specific proprietary technologies, widely being used in that cyber security. So it's a mammoth curriculum what we have got, one of the most comprehensive curriculum you will find under one roof. So this is the power of the curriculum which leads you to be picked up by the companies who are looking forward to hire the individuals in cyber security and data science, which the journey we have already talked about. Next slide. Okay. Blockchain. Uh, another program I have mentioned that you can take the snapshot, go through the link I have highlighted with yellow, and you will get into more information. Next slide. So this is the program we have again recently launched. Duration is the same. 11 month after 11 months of training, two months of internship and placements would be offered in this program. 15 projects would be given and these projects are the major USP of the program, all the programs what we offer. So certification by IBM, commencement date is 26th August, click on the link, take the snapshot, go through it, you will get more information. Next slide. 
this is the curriculum what we uh, have got in this program again it has got the core course in elective like node.js ripple foundation of coda for blockchain hyperledger web development ethereum the different uh, techniques which is required in uh, blockchain next slide uh, blockchain use cases foundation of data science also foundation of blockchain uh, cryptocurrency you might have heard about these all technologies blockchain platforms this is what we are covering up next slide adit okay <coughs> <coughs> and then python is very much there applied cryptography is very much there as a core part of the course next slide another program in the same league we have started which is a post graduate program in full stack development take the snapshot go through the link highlighted in yellow you will get to know more information on that next slide okay same duration is same 11 months two months of internship followed by uh, 11 months of program followed by two months of internship and placements that go hand in hand uh six days a week will be the session 15 projects program start date from 19th august applications are open next slide curriculum what we are delivering so if you talk about full stack typically a full stack developer they have to work in the front end and the back end also he has to take care of the servers part for the back end part he has to work upon various platforms like he has to create the website as per the client and inter interface or uh, maybe uh, the the Uh, server side he has to play along with the data for that sql is also required jquery mean stack javascript hibernate uh, react flask next slide the different tech bootstrap uh, css html next slide uh, fundamental of computer system so he has to take the entire uh, infrastructure starting from the scratch to the execution level in different layers client server all the layers back end front end everything he has to take care of though if you just check or 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 uh, google you will get to know almost 15000 jobs are vacant as per the nokris data 7000 to 8000 is the data of uh, you know uh, the indeed.com portal it says like this is the real time data that number of jobs are available in that vertical because companies they have a huge requirement of individuals who are jack of all trades because of which we have joined started this program this is beneficial for those who are from non it background they wish to uh, jump into the it or computer science background next slide next slide okay so this is all curriculum what we have it has again got the core course in the elective next slide okay coming to the faculty and mentors so the programs what i have discussed with you that will be delivered by the best of the brains available in the market i'll name some of them also again i am requesting you guys asking you uh, to suggesting you uh, take the snapshot of this slide go through the link and you will get to know more information explore more faculties for different different courses what i have talked about dr vinay kulkarni he is director of ages uh, hails from uh, iit bombay 12 degrees like btech mtech from iit bombay phd from iit bombay more than 20 plus years of experience he has got take care of the statistics hadoop and spark part at ages dr samshuddin ladda he uh, uh, hails from same iit bombay and he has got 12 uh, phd's from IIT Bombay and Monash University take care of the machine learning part at Ages. Dr. Sogata Mukherjee, he heads the entire Watson Vertical at IBM, takes care of the virtualization part at Ages. We have Bhavik Gandhi on board. He holds from University of Florida. He is the adjunct professor at Ages, take care of machine learning, and also he is the uh, the the lead chief data scientist working with Shadi. dot com. Dr. Abhijit Gangopadhyay, he is the dean of Ages. He himself is an institution. Uh, Uh, you know he is a retired ias officer dean of ages for the last two decades uh, he is the founding dean and director of iim indore also the founding dean and director of tata institute of social science take care of critical thinking in hr analytics at ages dr tatiana we have hired certain uh, russian data scientists also and she is a ukrainian data scientist take care of a spark part at ages sharmila das she takes care of the social media analytics practices with ibm take care of the infosphere begin site and social media analytics at ages and there are so many other profiles so it's a blend of both academia and the individuals who are from the same background been there done that build the systems so these kind of best brains would come and they will do the hand holding for the participants who wish to join these courses next slide center of innovation quickly i'll be summarizing it like we have curated like the way we have curated uh, ages grambel award similar way we have curated dsc which is data science congress three day conference in which we do invite the uh, thought leaders the um, the uh, top analytics heads data scientists across the globe we invite the companies who have done some breakthrough innovation in those disruptive technologies ai machine learning they come and they deliver the hand holding uh, they demonstrate their products we invite the research paper we call for the research paper across the globe it's a huge uh, platform what we have curated 
uh, and this is why I'm giving you the stress on that slide because this is beneficial for the participants like you who are looking forward to enroll for these courses because most of the companies who do participate in that platform uh, data science congress they are your prospective recruiter most of the candidates get picked up by these platform because we allow our participants to present the projects what they have done over the past in those platforms and most of the data scientists the heads who are coming down the companies who come down for the demonstration they are your prospective recruiter and i have already given explanation about ages gramble award next slide hackathons workshop like that had been explained by the uh, the rock stars to whom you have met at the start of the session we keep conducting various hackathons workshops leadership series which helps the participants to uh, connect with the leaders who are being there done that uh, who are doing the entire modeling thing and these individuals they lit the fire in the belly of the participants who wish to make their career into data science new technologies participants they get in touch with so this is also helps the participants to prepare to make them future ready and to become to make themselves industry ready rather i would say that next slide okay let's talk about the projects i'll take little more time in the projects part uh, i won't explain i'll give you some demos uh, so these are the projects which is the real life projects not like the cut copy paste projects if you guys most of you have done your graduation because the statistics I have gone through. So these are not like the academia projects what we all have been through these are which were the cut copy paste kind of projects. Here the projects I have mentioned rather I would say that these are the products which participants they play along it, the, these projects they can take on their laptop on their phone right and, th and they can play along with the data what the platform what they have built up. And these are the projects which is one of the major USP of the program which helps the participants to crack the interviews and as a reason, as a result, individuals to whom you have met, like companies are offering them the packages around 13 lakhs for the fresher up to. This is the disruption. I'll be talking about the placements part also. And these are the projects which help the participants to showcase that what they have learned in this program. It's all about showing your skills. Because here the companies are hiring you on one parameter, whether you'll be able to put the value addition on the table starting from day one or not. So these projects are actually helping the participants. Okay, uh, could you please, uh, so some, some projects I'll show you like uh, job recommender system as you can see, uh, we have done, we, this is a project we are doing with uh, UNDP, United Nations. Suppose how this project works, suppose you have X number of skills, you type these skills on Google, what results you will expect? Google will tell you the knockery data or it will fetch you the data of LinkedIn. Maybe if you get into that data, if you land it up into that particular platform, you will see that these jobs have already been filled up. What's the way out? So this is the system we are creating and this is live uh, in few months down the line. This will also help the government of India to invest, which will increase the employability in which sector. So how this project works, you type these scales, whatever projects we have got in the uh, market. Uh, so it will fetch you the real time data like how many number of jobs are available in data science in Mumbai, Pune, Gurgaon, anywhere you wish to uh, make your career in cities wise. If you click it will give you the pie chart kind of setup, click on that link, it's like a inception, you click on that particular pie chart, you enter into that and you can land it up into that uh, portfolio of the companies, you can directly apply to the jobs also. Uh, the companies who are looking forward to hire for these individuals who have those skills what you have typed also you will see that for particular profile like in data science what sort of skills are required you can search the jobs as per the skills uh, which is required and you can directly apply another projects we have done like for the leading isp in india internet service provider various projects we have done like uh, to track some suspicious activities which are happening but IPs they have backed up by the complete AI functionality so that kind of projects we have done predictive based modeling created for them we are doing the churn prediction also for them for leading telecom players we have done earlier on a massive scale uh, predictive uh, churn prediction which is a prediction I mean how many customers will leave uh, one telecom company and join the another one uh, call drop analysis we have done for the leading banks in India we have done fraud detection analytics project based out of the facial recognition system what we have got can you please connect my phone uh, uh, Adit I'll show you one demo for one project it will be better if you I can show you something live okay let me connect my phone okay can you see my number is here it's 652 at the end yeah this one Okay, it's connected now. Yeah, 
Okay. So now my, my phone is connected. I'll give you a quick demo in front of you guys. One project, like it popped out on the first, as you can see, Kojo, it is mentioned. I'm clicking on that project. So this project, which is called Let's Find Missing Child. For this project, we are very bully about this project. Even the government of India, they are. Government of Goa, they have signed an MOU for this project. Andhra government, they are, we are about to sign the MOU for them. So uh, entire NGOs, the cyber cell, they are supporting us in this project. How this project works? As the name suggests, let's find missing child. This is for a social good. How this project works? Suppose you find somebody begging on the street. I'm talking to you from Mumbai right now. Suppose if I, and we have the institution in Pawai. Suppose if I find somebody begging on the street here in Pawai, any signal. So these kids, <coughs> these females, they're not destined to do that kind of begging trade. It's a nexus. It's a structured crime. But if, suppose if I want to become a savior for them, even my life would be in danger because it's a complete nexus. So what's the way out then? Every phone has a good camera nowadays. The project is handy on you, with you. It's a web-based, Android-based application, what we have developed. It's in the testing phase now, and soon it will be live, non-commercial project. If you guys listening to me, uh, this meetup, if you think that you have X number of skills, whatever skills like R, Python, do approach to us. I'll be leaving you with my coordinates. And you can help for building up such projects what we build up. So uh, how this project works, enough talk. Let's talk about the demo. So as you can see, the missing child caption here. Let me click on that. As you can see, OK, the back camera is on. Let me turn the front camera. This is me, Ritin. OK, let me click my photograph. It's done. So if I click here, you might be seeing uh, this button, which is uh, right. I'm clicking here, see what will happen. Immediately, it will track my geolocation. And if I proceed further, my I'll be in a list of missing person. I'm not doing it. I'm coming back here. OK. How the, now here the process gets started. How it works? We have built the entire deep learning engines and the AI engine installed in that project. How it works? Suppose somebody, you find somebody banging on the street. Uh, their parents, they might have logged an FIR for that person missing. So the statistical based analysis, the AI engine, it start working. Tons of images are there. It's all connected thing. So it, what it, the product will do, it will give you the best result based out of these algorithms. The AI engine will start working and fetch you the best result for those person who have, uh, who is missing from a particular area. And the person who have logged an FIR, they will get the pop up that this person they have found here in here in Nani Pawai. PCR will come and the kid will be uh, captured and the person will be behind the bars and certain thing would be, do, would be, would be, can, can be done. So this is one project. I have just given you a demo. So these kind of projects we are talking. And this is not a project. It's a product. Right? So these projects and product, it, it, it actually helps the participants to get their hands dirty. Not only hands, the participants, they completely get themselves dirty with the technology which is required and this helps the participants in terms of you know uh, sell themselves in terms of the technical technically uh, in front of the interviewers and as a result companies they're offering them the packages that I will be taking in the next slide and there are many at such products uh, pro projects and the products I would say that we have done and in our entire tenure of this 11 months almost minimum we gave six projects and one major capstone project, minimum I'm talking. And these all projects are such real life projects. This is the power. Next, next slide. Okay, other capstone project, automated image to creative contextual description. Brilliant project, Nielsen picked up the entire batch. How this project works? Participants, they have built up a system in which if I click my selfie in this room, upload it to the system, the system starts uh, rendering a brilliant picture or maybe a kind of uh, story out of that image, right? So maybe in soon you will see that gone are the days of uh, script writers. You just have to click the photograph and the system will create a story for you. Based upon the detection of the objects, uh, the, the engine it finds in that picture. A picture can say a thousand words. It is very true. So these kind of projects, participants, they have developed. And because of which companies, they are crazy to opt such talent. Okay, many other projects like sports analytics for IPL, loan prediction system, uh, stock exchange price prediction project, robo advisor for one of the retail organization, air quality prediction, and many other. 
projects but participants they do it in this program and they get their themselves exposed to the technology and they they because of these projects participants they get the actual exposure next slide somebody would have asked me about the career management part okay so the career management ages at for the placements and the internship part ages we do have a career management center as you can see here so which is a very integral part of ages and it helps the participants to or facilitate them with excellent internship and placements so these are the companies who are where our participants are working who have come down if i talk about the statistics wise last batch uh, we have around 54 uh, candidates for them 50 plus companies have come and these are the companies who uh, observe the candidates from us like be it ibm since we offer this program with ibm pwc accenture deloitte is our knowledge partner lnt infotech persistent teradata fractal maybe you might have heard about that organization big time recruiter from us ernest and young uh, virtusa e clock suzlon energies companies like lnt uh, finance uh, mercedes and ford they have also picked up the candidates minimum package if i talk about the last batch then i'll come to the recent one uh, last batch it was 6.5 maximum went up to 13 and uh, for the freshers i'm talking average was 8.5 to 9.1 last year and uh, maximum it went up to 40 to 48 lakhs experience candidate they have got up to 300% hike now let's talk about today's picture you can go check business standard who, who has already captured that news which is floating everywhere uh, last month only we have started off with the placement activities till now so we do the placements in that way day 1 day day 0 day 1 day 2 3 days and those three days almost 37 companies have come uh, 75 offers has been given to the participants out of which the palva and samir you might have met uh, minimum package was 6.5 maximum it went till now it is 22 lakhs uh, stipend had been given by the nelson that is 1 lakh uh, and then eventually that it's, it's a stipend for the internship and average package went up to 14.5 lakhs and the story not ends here this is just the start we have not done with the placements completely still it's on so probably in a, uh, another month or two we'll be able to fetch you the exact number it will be mammoth so this is the power of the program that's the reason companies they are crazy to observe the candidates in such packages you might have heard these packages had been offered to the individuals who are iim graduates or maybe btech from iit graduates also like similarly like we are conducting the interview today let's so we have already given you kind of a structure about the journey of the analytics of the participants to whom you already have communicated next slide uh, let's talk about the alumni some of them you already have got a chance to interact i'll name some of them because it make me feel very proud to share their experiences their journey because it inspire and aspire the individuals and inspire also who are sitting who who are willing to join courses and who wish to make their career as data scientist not like the self proclaimed data scientist a true data scientist in all the ways because if you talk about the data scientist skills they, sh they, sh they should be the jack of all trades they should know all these information all these technologies i have walked you through in the curriculum what we are offering okay puneet rathwa the time he joined this program he has around 2.5 years of experience today i proudly say it makes me feel proud always he is the director of morgan stanley heads the entire data science vertical michel she working with nelson as a data scientist pratesh tiwari uh, he is a ai lead leading the entire ai vertical with pnb metlife he hails from uh, be computer science though uh, and also if you just check out that ages tv in which i am communicating with you guys uh, there is a talk also what i have already conducted with these gentlemen uh, and if you go through with these talks it's a journey what they are sharing and they themselves feel amazed and proud that they are heading the entire vertical with pnb and these folks they are hiring the individuals and their team the btech iit graduates from bombay or delhi these folks they are working under them anyways this is the power the program that gives you dhrubajit mukherjee he is working as a data scientist from logitech now btech electronics graduate next slide Uh, Vigneshwar he is working as a data scientist with Ernest and Young he was a fresher the time he joined the program so Sarab Bidwai brilliant job he is doing with Charles Charles Dick uh, company and uh, the time he joined he was a complete fresher somebody would have asked me non IT background or non coding background Abhishek Gupta 
I cannot put everybody's name, else it would take almost 3-4 hours. I will be keep talking about the LMNIs because I have already mentioned we started this program folks 6 years back when the world is not aware about data science, forget about India. Since then the journey got started and we have the largest number of LMNI base in the market who have been serving the industries globally on different profiles and working as a real time data scientist. Abhishek Gupta, such candidates almost every batch if you check out his qualification, he is a BCom graduate, commerce graduate working as a data scientist with Farm Easy. And this is not the one. Almost every batch we have such candidates who are fresher, who are from non-IT background, almost 35 to 45 percent candidates from such backgrounds who are coming from non-IT background. Similarly, Aniket Chaudhary, mechanical engineer, no, never ever had studied C, C language, Abhishek Gupta and currently he is working as a data scientist with NSC. There are certain so many stories. You go to the portals of ours, you get to know these stories, right? Not stories, these are the facts. Next slide. Uh, there are so many other profiles. Next slide, you can check out. Raj Dhani, in the executive model, we have the participants who have uh, two years to 30 plus years of experience. Raj Dhani, uh, this gentleman, he has got around more than 25 plus years of experience. Uh, hails from IIT Bombay BTEC civil graduate, Suhas Ulyalkar, more than 30 years of experience at the time he joined the program and doing brilliantly well. Pallav Bhattacharya hails from IIM uh, Kolkata, so almost 15 plus years of experience he has got. So there are participants are from 0 years till 15, 15, uh, 30 plus years of experience in different delivery models what we do offer. Next slide. Sudarshan Shidore, he has the entire uh, T TCS. Uh, in data analytics wing, proud LMNI of ages. So, uh, so such profile, I mean the participants who are coming from different backgrounds have a mammoth years of experience and the, even the individuals on the same side <coughs> who have two to three years of experience or even one year of similar kind of experience who are joining the executive model and they are also doing equally well, brilliantly well. Next slide. Okay, the background I have already talked about, participants are coming from different backgrounds altogether. They are coming from IT. Uh, Non-IT, commerce graduate, economics graduate, uh, plain mathematics graduates, BSc graduates, uh, B.Tech in different specializations. Just a moment. Okay. So, uh, coming from management background. So, participants are coming from all nook and corner of uh, the areas and they are joining the programs and flying high with the uh, jetpacks on their back. Next slide. Okay. Uh, so, one session is not enough. Like. Uh, I also tells you because this is called LMS, I would like to give you a quick demo also. So this is a mobile application, all of you who are listening to me, if you have the Android phone, you can download it from the Play Store, uh, Mini Campus it is called and uh, the name suggests easy to access, ease to access on the fly on the go. So you can take the entire session on your pocket because one session, believe me, it sounds amazing. Uh, because the kind of packages being offered, the kind of uh, program, the power it has got. Uh, everyday participants who are working in that area, they have new challenges every day. But if you are getting a deeper dive into that deep learning or AI or machine learning, it's a complex subject. Even one session is not enough, believe me. So th there is a way out. That mobile application, Mini Campus, which is a LMS, state of the art LMS, what we use, in which we record the entire session, not record same session like I'm doing with you guys. I'm taking it. So uh, these sessions, which participants they take. That session we record and upload to the learning management system and that is available for the participants so that they can play along with that session n number of time. They can revive, revise that session, revive that session n number of time which helps the overall learnability of the participants. And uh, so can you please connect my uh, phone, it is connected, okay. All right, so this is how, okay let me take you to the another uh, slide which is M Uni campus. Okay, this is how it looks like. Right, so, uh, okay, just a moment. Uh, okay, so let me again open that application. Okay, this is called M Uni campus. This is how it looks like. So, <laughs> it has got the core, uh, the courses, you can explore the courses, you can explore new courses, you can explore the live lectures which is happening, you can check your attendance, uh, the performance also, the placements also, the guidelines also. So suppose uh, let me take you to some courses like my courses, if I click here, 
you will see the courses I have registered myself for, which participants like you, you can register. And uh, suppose if I wish to take any session, let's take a uh, deep learning with TensorFlow. I clicked on that, the entire overview, the content, Q&A, the entire uh, assignments, the quizzes will be uploaded. You will see the instructor like Dr. Ashish Tendulkar, brilliant faculty, more than 20 years of experience, uh, build the entire Google platform. Uh, so he takes a machine uh, deep learning with TensorFlow. Suppose, and these are the sessions that you can, once the session get done, that will be automatically uploaded to the learning management system and it will be available for your revision. You can revive these sessions a number of time. I'm clicking on that session. This is how the look and feel looks like. Right, so uh, my name is Ashish Tendulkar and I'll be uh, your instructor for deep learning with TensorFlow course. Uh, I do not know much about what has happened so far. Uh, so I'll first take stock of the what you have learned in your machine learning course. Am I audible in the back? Right. So this is how the smart system, the smart studios, we use it. You won't be, if for the faculties, they're writing on the board here, you will see the exact uh, uh, detail on your phone. So you, you can take your entire lectures on your pocket. Take me to the slides. So this helps the participants to boost the overall learning. So I've taken the screenshots. I thought if the system won't work, uh, so I'll be just uh, walking you through. I'll skip in the slides. Next slide. This is all I have walked you through. Okay, next slide. Okay, previous one. Financial uh, aid and bank loan. Some of you might have, you have asked that. So if there is any financial loan or bank loan. So if you guys think that you have uh, studied well in your uh, 10th, 12th and graduation. So from the matriculation student, we are inviting the applications also, in, applications are open. But there are high chances that you may get 10% to 100% financial aid, which is a kind of scholarship. So if you score pretty well in your different examination, the base is your graduation uh, 10th, 12th marks. Also, if you would have scored pretty well in your GMAT, uh, CAT, or these kind of or TOEFL, any courses if you have got. So we will provide you certain loans, uh, not loans, the financial aid uh, that would vary from 10% to 100%. You can take the snapshot or maybe you can explore while going to and explore our page, I'll be leaving you with that. So, and you can check if you fit in any bracket and you can look for, for the scholarship part as well. And financial loan, uh, the loan part, bank loans, we do have a tie up with various finance institution who disburse the education loan to the participants. Next slide. Admission process, quickly I'll summarize it. Applications are open. Again, I'm reminding you guys who are following me still. And uh, so the process would be, first you have to fill the online application. Once we receive the application, applications are open till 31st is the deadline. Uh, once we receive the application, an interview would be scheduled. In case you get through and shortlisted during the interview process, it's a serious affair, believe me, mark my words. And in case anybody get through and shortlisted, we extend the admission offer to the participants on the very same day. So interview and counseling process happens on the same date. Next slide. So again, I'll tell you the interview dates are 26th in Mumbai. Tomorrow we are conducting the interview. Now it's already gone. 4th August is the date uh, when we are again conducting the interviews and these will be the uh, on-campus interviews happening in Mumbai. Also, we are conducting Skype. Admission process, go through the link. Either link you can follow. Maybe you can go to www.ages.ed.in or maybe you can go to www.muniversity.mobi slash ages. Take the snapshot, go through the link. You will see that kind of images on your screen. Uh, so explore the programs. Click on that. Next slide. Any program may be for analytics program I've talked about. You will see the apply button on the top uh, left side of the page. Apply, click on the apply button. Next slide. Maybe any program, maybe cybersecurity also. Next. Blockchain, maybe you would like to apply. Next slide. The page will ask you to log in. You can log in by using your Google, Facebook, or LinkedIn credentials. Uh, then you have to fill the complete application. Application form is a bit lengthy. It will take 30 to 35 minutes of yours. Once you receive the complete application, your interview would be scheduled. And uh, accordingly, you'll have to perform well in the interview. If you do good, there are chances that you may get in. Next slide. Any questions so far? So we are open for the questions, guys, if you are still here. Again, Simi is asking, sir, what about job guarantee? If you are following me, Simi, I believe I answered your question. If you're a logical person, you get the answer. We are, again, I'll tell you, we are not a placement consultancy. Having said that, placements are happening in big way. 
all the participants who joined the program, they are flying high with a jetpack. Again, I'm repeating the word, flying high like anything. It's all about how much input you as an individual are putting up. As an institution, we are giving you the best. Any questions? Please, you can type your questions. Manish, are there any questions online? Okay, I believe good to go then, next slide. Okay, so I'm leaving you with my coordinates. I'm Ritin, Ritin Joshi. And these are, I have put in the numbers, jotted down my numbers of my teammates as well. Uh, you can reach out to us. This is my email id, ratan.j, my colleague Manish email id. Uh, admissions, you can write your queries over admissions. Or you can reach out to our numbers, what we have, I have mentioned already. All right. Uh, it was a pleasure talking to you guys. And all the very best. Do good in your future. And if you wish to apply, applications are open. Pleasure talking. Bye-bye. Good night. Take care.